Hi everyone, welcome to the 15th video in my series on the Te Araroa Trail. So I'm leaving the Waiau Hut down in the Waiau Valley in the St James Conservation Area heading towards Anne Hut. So it's been a pretty cold night. Yeah, it's not very warm out here. There's a bit of snow on the top of the mountains around the valley. But I should be in the valley all day today. Got a few quite big river crossings. The track's meant to be quite easy. Starting soon, I'm meant to get onto the St. James Cycle Trail, which is pretty much like a four wheel drive track, I think. So, yeah, should be a good change from the mountains for a bit. So, not sure how far I'm going to get. Might get to Anne Hut, which is about 25 kilometres away, or I might get a little bit further. But, yeah, we'll see what the track's like and decide later on. So I've just arrived at Ann Hut, so it's about quarter to one now, taking me five and a half hours from Waiau Hut, I think it was meant to be about eight hours, so yeah, cut, cut a bit of time off, done 26 and a half kilometres, so it has been pretty easy walking, I did about 18, 19 kilometres in my jandals, because there were so many river crossings, I thought might as well keep the shoes dry, so yeah, still got dry shoes for tomorrow, which will be nice. It was along a four-wheel drive track down the Waiau Valley, so yeah, really easy walking. You know, I climbed about 309 metres in total. So yeah, feeling a little bit tired. I was going to consider continuing on to Boyle Flats Hut, but apparently that's another six hours from here, so yeah, I think I'm going to stay here. It's another... 16 or 17 k's I think so it would make this about a 43 kilometer day if I continued Which I don't really feel like doing so yeah, I'm gonna stay here and then have a 10 hour day out to Boyle village tomorrow So yeah, I'm gonna have a rest this afternoon and get ready for my final day on the way up pass It's 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning now, I'm just leaving Anne Hut, so I'm heading out to Boyle Village today, which is about 30 and a half kilometres, so it's going to be a big day. There's three huts on the way, Rockaby, then Boyle Flats, then well, Magdalene's a little 15 minute side trip, so I probably won't go down there, but yeah, so I'm going to start by walking up the Ann River for a bit, crossing over Ann Saddle, then down into the Boyle Valley, and follow that out to Boyle Village.
quarter to 11. I've just arrived at the Boyle Flats hut. <clears throat> so this is a 14 bed hut next to the Boyle River. It's taken me 3 hours and 37 minutes to get here from Anne Hut this morning. It was meant to be 6 hours so yeah I did that fairly quickly. 17.8 kilometers and I climbed 419 meters. So yeah it's been raining most of the morning so it hasn't been too great. It's kind of walking through the tussock next to the river mainly which was pretty wet so yeah feet are soaked not a very nice feeling but it's only meant to be four hours out to Boyle village from here so I'm going to stop for a break and then continue on towards there I think I'll have an early lunch here and a kind of a late lunch part two when I get there instead of stopping on the track in the rain somewhere so yeah hopefully it'll be a bit quicker should be hopefully about two and a half hours I'm thinking out to Boyle so yeah, I'll have a break and keep moving. Just arrived at Boyle Village on the Lewis Pass Road, State Highway 7. So finished the YR Pass section. Six days from St Arnold, so yeah, pretty happy to get that one done. Now I've walked 31 kilometers today, climbed 720 meters, and it's half past two, so it's taken me yeah, seven and a half hours from Ann Hut. Basically stopped for the break at Boyle Flats and then powered it all the way out from here because it's still raining a little bit, it's not too bad, but yeah, cool. So I'm back out at the road. We've got reception again for the first time in about a week, so pretty luxury. So I'm gonna be staying two nights here, have a rest day tomorrow, and then I'll continue on to the next section which is the Harper Pass. It's quarter past seven on Friday morning. I'm just about to leave the Boyle campsite. So yeah, I had a couple of nights here, had a rest day yesterday. It was raining all day, so yeah, perfect day for a rest. Got a bit of video editing done, and yeah, just a bit of repacking for the next section. So I'm about to enter the Harper Pass route, which is gonna be about four or five days through to Arthur's Pass Road, State Highway 73. So yeah, it's a little bit shorter than the last couple of sections, but still going to be quite a walk. So the, there's a section not far from here with a crossing of the Boyle River, which I'm thinking is going to be quite high after the last couple of days of rain. So I'm going to take the official road bypass and walk the road for about 10 k's, yeah, and then rejoin the track at Windy Point, and then I'll head to Hope Kiwi Lodge today, which is about 26 kilometers away, I think. So I've been walking just under two hours, just arrived at the Windy Point car park on the side of State Highway 7, Lewis Pass Road. So this is where the track into Lake Sumner Forest Park starts. So I'm, apparently I've got about five hours to Hope Kiwi Lodge from here, which is where I'm going to be stopping tonight. Yeah, I think it's about 16 or 17 k's, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad walked around in circles for about the last kilometre trying to find the track though 
but I'm onto it now so yeah the line on the TA app and far outs kind of pointing in the wrong direction which is a bit confusing but yeah I just kept following the road down a bit further and made it to here Just arrived at Hope Halfway Hut next to the Hope River, which is just down there. So it's a little six bed hut, basically really a little shelter, no fire, just yeah, could be good for emergency accommodation. So it's just after 12, so I'm going to stop for lunch here. I've done 20.6 kilometres and climbed 400 metres. So I've basically just been following the track up the Hope Valley through beech forest most of the way start was a little bit rough but yeah it got better as we went on so it's an awesome day which was forecast so yeah glad it stopped raining perfect day for a rest day yesterday while it rained but all the rivers are quite high but shouldn't be too much of a problem so yeah i'm gonna stop for a break and then continue on towards hope kiwi It's half past two, I've just arrived at Hope Kiwi Lodge. So it's taken me about seven and a half hours to get here from Boyle Village. Done 28.8 kilometers and I've climbed about 600 meters. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. Just mainly walking up the valley, pretty easy walking along river flats and yeah, just the track next to the river. And I'd have to say this is probably the fanciest hut I've seen on Te Araroa so far. It's got about 22, 23 beds I think, so it's pretty big and yeah very nice, a few rooms, big kitchen area, so yeah I'll take a few photos inside. So I'm going to be stopping here tonight, have a rest for the rest of the afternoon and then have a big day tomorrow to probably Hurunui number 3 hut. It's 10 past 7 now, just leaving Hope Kiwi Lodge, heading towards Hurunui. So it's been a pretty cold night, had a good frost, so yeah, grass is a bit wet. But the sun should be out soon, looks like it's going to be an awesome day when the sun does get over the hill, but it might take a while. So I've got about six hours I think from here to Hurunui hut and then I'll probably continue on to Hurunui number three hut which is about another four hours from there there's a natural hot spring between Hurunui and Hurunui number three so I'll see how I feel later but yeah might go for a swim
So this is the Hiranui Swing Bridge, about two kilometres or so from Hiranui Hut. So yeah, 20 past 11 now, and walking about four hours. This bit's kind of annoyed me though, because I've seen a lot of environmental impacts from farming, especially down the North Island. But here, just across this bridge, there's at least 100 cows that aren't fenced and have open access to this Hiranui River, which is a beautiful river. But yeah, that's really not very good. They need to be at least fenced in if they're going to be in a valley up here. I don't know why they're up here to start with, because this is a very remote area and a forest park, but anyway. So I'll keep heading on towards Hiranui Hut. It's 10 to 12, I've just arrived at Hiranui Hut, next to the Hiranui River. So this is in the Hiranui Valley, which is the main valley that flows into Lake Sumner. So it's taken me four and a half hours from Hope Kiwi. I've climbed 500 metres and I've done 19 kilometres. So it's been a pretty enjoyable day so far. Really easy, just walking through the forest and a bit along the open flats of the Hiranui Valley. So yeah, it's been really nice. So from here I'm going to stop for lunch and then continue on towards Hiranui number 3 hut which is about another 4 hours away apparently. And I think there's the hot spring about 2 thirds of the way up so yeah I might stop there. So I've just arrived at the natural hot pool, about an hour from Hiranui Hut. So it's about quarter to two now. I think I'm going to jump in. It's pretty shallow. It's probably only half a metre deep. But yeah, pretty little pool, but it's warm, so I'm going to get my togs on and jump in for a bit, and then continue on to Hiranui number three, which is only about another five kilometres away. So it's 25 past 2, I've just got out of the hot pool. So that was awesome. It's like, been in there about half an hour. Sand flies were terrible though. You had them just constantly buzzing around your head, huge swarm. It wasn't very nice, but <clears throat> they didn't seem to bite too much, so it wasn't too bad. And yeah, perfect temperature. You'd probably get about two or three people in there would be the maximum though. It was probably about half a meter deep, so pretty shallow, but yeah. Awesome, perfect temperature. So yeah, if you want to get to this the quickest way, it's probably about a four or five hour walk from the Lock Train car park, which is a four wheel drive access car park, which has got a campsite there. Yeah, and then walk up to Hiranui Hut, and then it's about another hour from Hiranui Hut to here. So that would be definitely worth it. four o'clock I've just arrived at Hiranui number three hut so this is where I'm going to be stopping tonight 
Um, it's taken me just under nine hours to get here from Hope Kiwi, and that's including breaks, so it was only seven hours and five minutes walking time. Yeah, so I climbed 770 metres and did 29 and a half kilometres. So it's been a pretty easy day. It's real, re really easy track anyway, quite long. Nice to have a break at the hot pool in the middle and a lunch break at Hurunui Hut. See, it's been really nice. It's just starting to spit a little bit now, so got into the hut just in time. There's no one here now. It's a 16 bed hut, I think. Yeah, quite a few beds. So I'm going to be crossing the Harper Pass tomorrow and then heading down to Arthur's Pass probably the day after that, or Morrison's footbridge anyway. Thanks for watching this 15th video on my series on the Te Araroa Trail. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video which will cover Harper Pass and Goat Pass. If you'd like to support me there's a link to buy me a coffee in the description below. See you next time.